Hi Taurus, it's and welcome to your weekly tarot reading for the week of August. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing well. This is a general reading for any sun, moon, or rising Taurus. We'll get a sense of the big ideas or awareness for the week, guidance, and then possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information. So let's just go ahead and get started. The awareness of the week, the Seven of Swords, a card of perhaps deception, of someone tricking you, of someone being dishonest, someone maybe taking something from you, of not really being who they represented themselves to be. And so, um, you know, he's on the lookout perhaps and is trying to make off with some things here. And so it's something that you really have to be mindful of is that uh, this could be dishonesty, it could be lying, it could be a betrayal in a relationship, it could be represent cheating. So when I see it next to the Three of Swords, you have to pay attention to this in that there's a sense of really being hurt here that this energy or this person who is the Seven of Swords or representative of that is causing some pain in your life, some disappointment, um, something that you're going to have to get over, something that may take some time to work on. But you know, with the Three of Swords, it's three swords through your heart. And it's that painful thing of either someone has been misleading you, leading you on, disappointing you or out and out, you know, a theft of the heart or a theft of your property. So, you know, it's certainly unpleasant. So what do we say about the three of swords? How do we get over it? Well, we acknowledge it. We represent, you know, we put it in our book of life, our book of life lessons. And then we try to get back to something more normal. We try to recover by focusing on what we are grateful for and what we have blessings for. And, you know, eventually the wound begins to heal. But if you are constantly focused on the pain here and the damage that has been done, then it's very hard to move off of that. So, yes, that perhaps someone has really stuck it to you. And you're going to have to find your way of handling this and putting it in your lessons learned and to try to move on from that. So let's see what kind of guidance we have for you. Oh, ooh. So the awareness of the week is trickery, deception, perhaps lies and hurt. The guidance is, I think the guidance is not to lose sight that there is the right type of relationship for you. That this is a card of balance, of harmony, of a tremendous union. And it's the ultimate. This is transformative. It brings joy into our life. It brings happiness. It brings emotional wealth and richness. And so even though you may have been hurt badly, it's to not lose your faith to have a phenomenal relationship that there is the right person for you. And often when these things happen here, it's sad but true that sometimes these things are meant to happen is that things are meant to fall apart and that hurts. But that hurt, once we are able to move past it, opens up this channel for a great relationship, a soulmate, loving, connected relationship where it's someone who makes you feel you know, fantastic. And so here's the King of Cups, emotions. We have this emotions here, dealing with the expression of our emotions and opportunities. And the King of Cups is that opportunity. He's got his open cup. He's sitting here. And this could be suggesting that they're waiting for you. You need to put yourself in a place to meet them. And the King of Cups is loving. He's tender-hearted, sensitive. Some may say in a healing profession, but very intuitive and 
understands emotional intelligence, understands how to make the most of his, of his emotions and to express them. Because, you know, that's what you want in an equal relationship. You want an equal expression of love. That when you tell someone that you love them, it's nice to hear it back. Because there are some relationships where people just don't say it. They just withhold it. It's like you have to read their mind. And wouldn't it be nice to meet someone like a King of Cups who would tell you how they feel and how important you are to them? So, as I would say, this is trending upward. <laughs> the trend is good here for you. Water signs. Again, if you're in a relationship, you may have, you may have to get past some hurt, some issue that hurt you in order to reconnect on a deeper, satisfying, emotionally there um, position or place. So now let's see what the possible outcomes are. So we have the major arcana card of judgment. And so judgment, the angel's blowing the horn here and it's really a call to you. It's a call to action. Are you listening? Are you ready for the message? And the message is to find your highest self, to look for the highest purpose and to Give yourself a second chance. And the second chance and the opportunity to be reborn or to reawaken your spirit, that this card could be coming in to tell us that this little piece right here, this might have made you feel dead inside, that there was a relationship or something that you were in that made you feel a little bit dead inside. And the pain occurred and then here you have this opportunity for something better. Judgment is really cleansing the past and allowing you to be reborn, to have that second chance to find happiness, to find joy, to feel that you are meeting a, a, a purpose of yours. You know, and the purpose could be the loving, transformative, equal, and harmonious relationship. And so, With judgment, here's the Queen of Swords. And the Queen of Swords is bringing... She's not bringing the emotions. She's bringing the rational thinking. And at the heart of this, she's saying, you know, you may have been on a roller coaster of emotions here. And think of things logically. You know, look for clarity. Look for the truth in the matter. Look for the honesty within the situation. And be honest with yourself as well. Uh, she's analytical and she's informed. She makes decisions based on facts. So moving forward for you is to maybe telling you to use your judgment in terms of who you're seeing or the places that you're putting yourself into to meet people. To be discerning. To really think about who's in your life and to, you know, the negative or the toxic people, cut them loose, let them go, you know, let them go, open the path to a two of cups type of relationship. Or if this represents an event in your life or a relationship where it's really stunk or really hurt, is find a way to let this heal in order to recover. But I get a sense here that this is a transition from this situation to something better. So powerful love opportunities here for you. Let's take a look at the Oracle cards and get a little more information. This is a meditation or focus area for the week. Sisters of the Seasons, Cycles of Growth, Natural Law, and Divine Order. It's a wonderful reminder about the cycles of life, the wheel of life. 
how things naturally end and begin. And the universe has its own plan and we are part of it. We do have will, but we're a part of what the universe is designing and the universe ultimately wants happiness and enriching and emotionally deep relationships. So keep your thoughts on that. So now I'm going to choose a card for spiritual self or uh, emotional self. Stay connected. We are all born connected to spirit, often known as the divine source. Yet many of us have a tendency to pull away from that connection as we journey through life in the physical world. Now is an important time to reconnect to the source. So this is honoring perhaps memories of loved ones. It is staying connected with those present here in your life and in your family. And it is also being aware of, again, the divine order, the divine source, the universal design. And finally, let's see what more, what additional information we have for love for you from the Oracle cards. Enjoyment, enjoyment, have some fun, have some fun. Enjoyment is a welcome relief after the Three of Swords. You deserve it. You need to let yourself have some enjoyment and to have some fun. And the Two of Cups is when you find the right type of energy with someone else, then just like rowing the the canoe down the water, down the canal here. It's the exchange of that favorable and positive energy, the loving energy. This is what I have for you for the week, and I hope that you found something helpful here with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like, share, or comments, always a great help. I hope you have a tremendous week, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.